family welcome back to eagle eye angle we are here once again if a new member to our channel we say welcome if i remember we say thank you for whatever you have been doing for us eagle eye angle is all about food and our main focus is to throw more light on our local dishes so because of that we are here once again to show you guys a simple food but very very delicious in today's video, we are going to show you guys how to prepare mellow seed soup and we call it in our local language, rere. So we are going to enjoy it with Chris Brown. We call it in our local language, konkonte. So please guys, just take your seat, sit at the corner and wait for us to introduce our ingredients. Then we start cooking. guys let's introduce our ingredients then we start cooking i have my mellow seed here which i'll be using to prepare my soup we we'll call it in our local language re -re. so i have my chicken today the soup is going to be chicken mellow seed soup so we are going to use chicken to prepare our soup and it's very delicious and nice and it tastes good so i have my chicken here then i also have my pepper which I'll be using to prepare my soup. Then the crisp brown that I'm going to prepare, the powder that we use, we've gotten it from cassava. So we call it in our local language, kunkunte powder. So I'm going to use it to prepare my crisp brown. Then I also have my ginger, then the garlic, which I'll be using as my ingredients to steam my meat. I have my fresh tomatoes. I'll be adding it to prepare my soup. I also have my tomato paste, which I'll be using to prepare the soup. Then I feel like adding tilapia to my soup. So I have my uh, smoked tilapia here, which I'll be adding to the chicken to prepare my soup. So I also have, have my onions which I'll be using to prepare my soup. Then I have string powder, which I'll be using as my ingredients to steam my meat. Then, then I have Oji Awaria powder here, which I'll be adding to the string powder as my ingredients for the steaming. I also have turmeric powder. I'll be adding it as well. So in all, I have my salt to give me this. So please guys, follow me and let's go to the kitchen. Then we start cooking. But please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. Share the video you like. Then you give the video a thumb up. We love you guys. Let's continue the job. Hello, at this point, we are going to roast our mellow seed. But if you are going to roast the mellow seed, you have to sort it out. Maybe there is some unwanted materials you don't like it, or stone, or some, some materials, that foreign materials that you don't need it in the soup. You have to pour it on your plate like this. Then you sort it out, remove the unwanted materials before you roast it. So as you can see, the stones, if they are inside, it will make the soup bitter or it will not be nice to have a wanted materials inside. So you sort it out like this and you throw it away before you roast it. Mm. You have to check. But if your mellow seed is not having any 
material foreign materials inside you can just go straight and roast it and use it for your soup but mine is not good like that so i'm removing the stones and foreign materials which i don't need them before i will roast it So you have to put your pot on fire. When your pot is hot, then you pour your melon seed inside or your red inside to roast it. So now my pot is on fire and my pot is hot. I'm now going to pour my melon seed inside to roast it or my red red. So when you are roasting your melon seed, please guys, take your time to roast it. You need not to leave it on fire and go somewhere before you come back to, to take it off from the fire. No, you have to sit by and then you roast it like this till you hear the sound popping up before you take it off. If you leave it on fire or if the fire is too much and it's heated too much, it will get burned. When you the soup burn, the soup will not be sweet. It will be bitter. So please don't say you eat. Then you rest it until you hear the soup popping, pop, 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 pop. And so you take it off like me. Your melon seed is ready to be off from fire. So sit by it. It won't take much time to be ready right now. It's getting ready, but it's not ready yet. Some few minutes to be ready. It's ready now. So when it's ready, you don't leave it in the pot. It will get there. So you have to pour it out. Then you spread it like this. You leave it when it cool down before you continue. So when you leave it inside the pot, it will burn. So you have to pour it out from the pot and you spread it and leave it for it to cool down before you continue the rest. So I'm leaving my for it to cool. Now our melon seed is cold now. So we have to pour it and wash it. After washing, then we blend it. You can decide to pound it, but we are going to blend it. If you don't have access to the blender, then you feel like cooking mellow seed soup. You have to put it inside your mortar, then you pound it. But today we have access to blender, so we are not going to pound it. We are rather going to blend it and use it for our soup. So you add water to it. You wash it nicely to remove all the dirt in inside before you blend it. 
place at this point wash it nicely if you use it like that without washing your soup can be bitter you won't feel it like the way if you wash it nice it will be so please try your best and wash it nicely before you use it Uh, we are going to blend our rere. I told you guys that if you have your, you don't have blender, you can pound it and use it. It's the same thing. But today we have access to blender. We are going to use blender to blend our mellow seed and use it. So you add water to it. To make it smooth for blending. So now I finished blending my mellow seed and I'm going to save it. So if you are going to save it, please save it nicely so that uh, the particles will not follow through the the liquid that you have it so i'm going to save it now so now i'm saving my mellow seed Just take your time you save it gently so that the shafts will not enter the wine you got in. Now we are going to blend our ingredients for our soup and then to steam our meat. So we are cutting our ginger that we are going to use, then garlic, you cut it like this, then you blend it before you use it to steam your meat. You add water to wash it. So I'm cutting my onions to add it to my meat to steam it. So you can steam it with that onions. So you have to cut it like this. Then you add it to your meat to steam it so that you get a nice aroma and taste. So 
at this point i'm going to put my meat on fire to steam it so my meat is nicely washed so now i'm going to transfer it into my pot then i put it on fire to steam it So today I'm going to use two different places to prepare my food. So now I'm going to put my meat here. Then later I will set another fire to cook my crisp brown. So I'm setting my fire here, which I will put my meat on it to steam it, not to delay too much of time. I have to use two places to I will set fire two places to prepare my food today. So now we are going to put our meat on fire to steam it. Then very soon our soup will be ready. So I'm going to add my shrimp powder to steam my meat so I can get a good taste my chopped onions then my blended ingredients so our food is local subscribe like then you share the video for us i've added all my ingredients to the meat to steam it Someone may think that why didn't I add my salt to it? Because I'm going to prepare mellow seed soup or rare soup. At the initial stage, I need not to add my salt to it. But please don't go nowhere. Just wait and see the magic. At the end, I'll add salt to it. Now my meat is on fire. I'm going to add a sense leaf to it. Okay, I'm going to put my vegetables on fire so that I'll blend it and add it to my soup, which is pepper, tomatoes, and then onion. You can add it to the meat direct, but today I don't want to add it to the meat. I want to steam it aside before I blend it. So we have to blend our vegetables and add it to the So we have to add our tomato space to it. So now we've added our melon seed 
to it and we are going to leave it on fire for the soup to boil to our like before we take it off so very soon my soup is going to be ready you can see how the color is very nice and that is how it is going to be very very delicious and tasty okay i'm going to leave it on fire so let's wait for some time the minutes i will be back again at this point i'm going to add my smoke fish to my soup So we are going to put our water on fire to cook our crisp brown, which we we'll call it kunkunte or abitie on fire. So you put the water inside your pot, then you put it on fire, you cover it and leave it for it to boil before you cook your crisp brown or your kunkunte or abitie. So we are covering it now. We'll cover it like this and leave it on fire. So we are now adding our salt to the soup. We are adding our tumari powder and our powder to the soup. So our soup is getting ready very soon. So we are to sieve our cassava flour. Then we use it for marking brown. So you sieve it like this to remove the stuff or the thing. Remove the chest or the stains that is inside. Throw it away. Then you use the flour for your crazy bone. You sieve it. Now our water is ready, so we are going to cook our cream brown. So you check when the water is boiling, then you add your powder to it, and you cook. So now my water is plenty. I have to fetch some out before I add my cassava flour rate then I start the cooking so this is how you do it you add it then you stir you stir You do it nicely so that it will not mold. You won't have lamp in it. You add your flour. Like this. 
There is it. So it's ready. Oh, shh. Wow. Hello guys, now we are done with our cooking. Our soup is ready. Our Chris Brown too is ready. So we are going to serve it, then we consume it. First, we are the Consumers Association. They will join me right now that we consume our food. So I'm going to save. My rare soup is ready. So, 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 rare soup. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh. Mm. My soup is ready. Oh. So I'm serving. Then my family members will join me. Then we consume it. They will join me very soon. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like. Leave your comments in the comment section you know you guys have been doing a lot for us continue to do good job then you like subscribe you share the video for us we love you guys my mellow soup it's ready. Okay, now I'm done with the serving, so we are going to consume it. As we always say that we are the consumers association, we never disappoint. So my family members are here to consume the food for me. So you can join us to enjoy our food. 
please don't forget to subscribe like share the video for us we love you guys let's start <laughs> We are still on. We are still consuming our food. Oh. Mm. Please try this. Kind of soup. Mm. You will love it. It's very nice, very good, and it's healthy too. Mm. I love it. Eagle Eye Angle. Subscribe. Eagle Eye Angle. Subscribe. Tell it guys, this worries should not be you, tell it. If you not get this thing, hey, you don't eat for the whole day. I will tell you, you have to come and join me right here. So you have to consume some right here. Can't you see how I'm eating this meat? Hey, Charlie. This will tell you that you have food and you have food. The main food is sweeter than the one which is called food. Thank you guys. Come and join me later. Hello guys. I know this food you can't join me to eat. So what you have to do is that you subscribe to our channel, like it, and leave your comment in the comment section. Thank you. Our food is natural. Mm. We didn't add anything to it. So please, you can visit us to see how we prepare our food. We don't add anything. It's only natural. So we love it and it's healthy. Mm. Eagle Eye Angle, don't forget to subscribe.